Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. Sorry I don't have a video component for you today, but I wanted to do this quick video and get this information out to you. I received an email yesterday from Plex, basically because I run Plex Media Server on my Synology NAS. They made some recent security changes that affect version 1.15.4.994 and above. And in the email, there was a link to this community article that I will put this link in the video description below for you guys to reference. But I want to go through the um, article with you, what the changes were or what the change is and what you have to do to follow up to make sure that your Synology Plex Media Server is running to your expectations and that you're not locked out of accessing your media shares. Let's take a look at this article here. And this is Community Announcements and Algae Users Security Update. And by popular customer request and to improve the safety of your media, we've made a small but visible change to what Plex Media Server can do on your Synology NAS by itself. So they've removed the user Plex from the administrators group. And they say that it was a holdover from DSM 5.2, no longer required with DSM 6 and above. And it, there are some benefits. The benefits say that the user Plex is now a normal user, just like any other account you create in DSM. No special privileges of any kind, with exception of being a member of the video group, so it can still access the hardware accelerated transcoding. The repercussions of this change are that Plex will no longer be an administrator while it never actively used the capability it had the privilege. Any share which previously had access through the admin administrator's connection need to have correct permissions assigned. Your media in those shares is unavailable until you change the permissions. Those customers who unwittingly did make use of this privilege level now find themselves with permission denied errors or see unavailable as well as the inability to access their media shares in Plex. So it goes on to go through the steps you need to take to correct the permissions, and I will show you that in a live demo. But basically what they're referring to is after upgrading to 1.15.4.994, there's a chance that you can be locked out of your media, so your media shares. So if I take a look, if we go into the actual NAS itself, and we go into the control panel, and we go into the shares, uh, shared folders, You'll see here that I have a Plex media share. And if I go underneath edit and we go to permissions, you'll see here that the Plex user no longer has access to this share as well as I had originally granted myself when I first set up this Plex media server. I had originally granted myself read write privileges as well. So as a result of this upgrade to the latest version, both of these users have no access, resulting in the following. If you look here on my desktop, I have two aliases, a movies alias and a my music alias. And basically, this was for me to easily access my shares on the NAS so that I can upload content from my computer to the NAS. So typically, all I would do is click on my movies folder and it would ask, or my movies alias, and it would ask me to sign into the NAS and boom, I would normally be able to access the folders and drag and drop content from my desktop over to the NAS. Now you see that there was a problem connecting to the server home NAS and then you the typical Mac OS dialog screen which asks you to fix the alias, delete the alias, or just acknowledge. So for now we're just going to acknowledge and I'm going to change the permissions on the Plex user and myself and say okay. And now that that's done, if I come over here to my movies alias again and try to access it, and connect, you can see that now I have access to all my movies and my music. Okay, so once again, if you upgrade to that latest version and you find that you're locked out of your shares, 
the steps you have to take are to go into your control panel, go into your shared folder, go to your Plex shares, your media shares, click on edit, go to permissions and make sure that the Plex user and whatever other user on your DSM that you want to have access to those content shares that you give them permission here. All right, guys, so quick and simple video on the steps you need to take to correct the permissions on your Plex Media server on your Synology NAS if you've upgraded to the latest version. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. Always remember to subscribe, like, and share, and I do appreciate you guys using those Amazon affiliate links. I know it doesn't change your price, but it does help out the channel. My name's Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, I thank you for watching. See you next time.